What a lovely sandy beach you've painted. Would you be willing to give it away for the opportunity to learn? This is splendid. It will be the prized piece of my sitting room. Now, here's how to make twine. Mind the plants underfoot. What can I do for you? I like to go walking over there. It's nice to take in the sea air from time to time. We've got great plant diversity and I can always get imported teas from the storehouse. We've also got more wild bloom sacks than anywhere else. Any friend of Bojan's is a friend of mine. Here. Mind the plants underfoot! Hello, good friends. Where's your luck? Mm. I think Ona can do that. Ona took me to it once. I found a crab there and brought it home. It ran away though. What can I do for you? As far as I know, he left Lindau a long time ago and never returned. Unfortunately, he and I did not get along terribly well. Mind the plants underfoot! I saw you talking with the captain. How is she doing? I don't think I've heard her talk about much else. Hmm, I wonder if she'll ever recover. How have you been? His disappearance was all very mysterious. I don't believe anyone's seen him in a long time. The original town built on the river. 
I remember hearing that it got destroyed in a mudslide. I heard that when I was really young. I think that dock workers use fabric sacks with the incoming and outgoing shipments. You might ask one of them. Oh yes, I saw that from the ship. It looked as if there was a light coming from inside. Could it be a lighthouse? I would if I could, but I'm not a resident here. I guess it was convenient that you dropped in when you did. Thanks for getting Nika. Well, you are a nosy tourist, aren't you? Beeswax! I just can't wait to go home and show everyone the magnificent. Oh, it's the most wonderful city. Much better than this place. I can hardly believe I managed to get myself here alive. I think the dock workers use fabric sacks with the incoming and outgoing shipments. You might ask one of them. I've heard of him. A terrible man just horrible and not very good looking either they say he disappeared and I say good riddance hmm I'm not very interested in old things new things are so much more I haven't seen it it's part of though so it probably isn't worth seeing anyway I will not write you a reference we already have too many vagrants in Nava for my tastes. My garden is filled with all sorts of wriggly critters. Certainly. The salty sea N. I think the dog workers used fabric sacks with the incoming and outgoing shipments. You might ask one of them. I lived there for a few years, working as a baker. I do miss the bustle of the city sometimes. That poor man. He had quite a gruff personality. Not very. I hope he's very happy, wherever he is. That's where we all used to live. There was just so much rain one year. Luckily, we had the foresight to get out before the mudslide. No one got physically hurt, but the whole town. Towers like that were used to send fire signals to Nava, but we don't need to do that anymore. Oh, it's probably just some kids playing a prank. Sure, I can do that for you. Take care now.
gonna be such a great prank! Uh, don't forget to meet me in Nava. I'm usually near the bakery. to head into town to share news of your survival. You should go there and let them know yourself. It's just up the path. On your way, though. Newcomer has walked the road to Nava. Didn't I tell you it would be worth it? Would you like a ride to Nava? You've already paid the toll. We'll be free for you. My ox is strong, no? Need a lift? All right then.
What can I do for you? I like to go walking over there. It's nice to take in the sea air from time to time. We've got great plant to always get imported teas from the storehouse. We've also got more wild bloom sacks than anywhere else. Mind the plants underfoot! City folk, but they do buy my pots. Ooh, for a friend like you, of course. Ooh, ooh, thanks for the painting. Bye now. Good day for making trails, wouldn't you say? I've always pictured them as toad eaters. Never really watched them eating, though. If I knew what they like, I would have trapped that injured one by now. They live in watery caves and crevices. You aren't you full of questions? Go to the library if you want to be such a know-it-all. These trails aren't going to take care of themselves. Listen, I don't know you all that well. Mmm, city folk. It's like they've never seen a trail before. Always trampling through the foliage like animals. These trails aren't going to take care of themselves. Stay safe now.
a wonderful show at the Tarnished Teapot last night. Well, looky doda, we've got a fresh face. I haven't seen you in the city before, and I like to think I know just about everyone around here. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Osha. Some people around here call me the one glowstone guy because I'll buy anything for one glowstone. Any item under the sun and moon. Howdy. Just one. The way I see it, I already got just about everything I need in life. So nothing's worth more than one glowstone to me. There's only mountain wart. I'll give you two for that. Did I mention some people call me one glowstone guy? Well, I've got two nicknames around here. The other thing people call me is 500 glowstone guy. I only ever have one item for sale at a time, and I only sell anything for one price. 500 glowstones. Sealant. Would you like to buy some sealant? It'll be 500 glowstones. Hmm. There's only one thing I want that I can't seem to get, but I'm not sure you can help. I want to get into that fancy club, The Roots. They're such exclusive little buggers. I need the password to get in. No idea who to talk to about that. Get me that password, and I'll give you the sealant. Just one. The way I see it, I already got just about everything. There's only one thing that's worth more than a glowstone to me. One special thing. And that thing is... Mountain Wart. I'll give you two for that. It's pretty. Adds a nice burst of color to my pile here. Hello there. Such a great day, isn't it? Ah, I 
just love days. Last night, I saw two shooting stars and right... Ah, you're an artist? Oh, you must be very skilled. I can barely draw a straight line in the mud. If you're feeling especially energetic, we could always use a hand in the fields. We've got a lot of work down on the pea terraces. It can be draining, but I like to read in my free time. A nice book of poetry. Ah, the secretive underground tea drinking society. I've had a few cups of dream tea in my day, but things have changed since then. Now it's all locked doors and passwords. To an outsider, this shady hillside might not seem like the best place to grow peas, but the farms of Novice East Side have been producing for hundreds of years. You see, oh look at me, talking your ear off about peas already. Say, if you're looking for things to see in this country, you should find... When I was younger, I'd head out there all the time. But these days, I find myself a bit too busy with my peas. Navian demand is higher than ever you know. By the way, if you need a few extra glowstones in your travels, I could use an extra pair of hands shucking some peas for market. I won't lie to you though, it's tedious work, it can really drain you. Fantastic! I'll show you what needs to be done. It's not too complicated. in the spice shop down in the lower market. She's not the best cook, though. <laughs> but she's what Things are really so great between us. I, I want to be some more special when I ask her, though. Some more magical and perfect. Like sitting on a golden cloud at sunset while butterflies circle around us. But she loves bread. So yesterday I baked her a loaf in the shape of a rose. We ate it together. Oh my god. What if I already missed the per- I'm just so nervous to ask the question. Can you- Would you do me a favor? Can you- You're the best! She works in the spice shop down in the lower market area. Let me know what you find out. Oh dear. Oh no. I've done something terrible. I'm not sure if we've met before. Oh dear, this morning I sold some zucchini. I thought they were zucchini. I sold toxic tubers. Oh God, I've no idea who I sold them to. I don't know. Oh, I never thought selling veggies would be this hard. Numb legs, upset stomach, and then, oh, hours of vomiting. Oh God, what can we do? This is enough. Once was bad enough, but twice. 
And now people are going to start being sick. There's so little time. I need to recover those tubers. Can you help me? I've got no one else to turn to. Thank you, thank you. Please. I sold four zucchinis all together. And I put them in blue bags. Maybe that could help you find them. Oh, God. I hope no one has eaten any. just ate a huge bite of death. All I had today was a zucchini. I, I mean, it looked weird, but it tasted really good. Oh, great. Yeah, I bought one. Ate it already. Oh, how long is this going to last? I'm going to kill Ted. This is horrible. Your clothes are looking a little scrappy. Bet you're just about to freeze them. Well, well, well. The Shez are the religious group that actually uses the teens out of respect for our goddess Tien. They have a temple on the Tifmor Bluffs. If you know anything about the Roots cult, you should tell them. A group of degenerates. They lay in pools of water, drinking hallucinogenic teas and raving about it. They'll try to trick you into believing it only alters your dreams, but don't believe them. Their goal is to consume all the tea that rightfully belongs. If you want to support and aid the sanctity of the tea, you should seek out the chaise. As I didn't try to buy any zucchinis. I grow my own at home. Poor Tam. He tries, but things just don't seem to work out for him. Good day. Good day. One thing I can say about the folks here, they never ask for swords, which pleases me greatly. The only thing more boring than making a sword is being dead. Which, coincidentally, is what swords are used for. I'd rather make a kettle any day of the week. See you later. Just because I'm an owl folk, doesn't mean I can't control myself around. Okay, sometimes I eat some of the stock, but.
news here. Get your news here. Hi there. I mainly work in furniture, but by the looks of your pack, I... Not to worry, though. I've got just the thing. How would you like to buy a handcrafted... 80 glowstones? Is it, though? Just look at this bike. It's a feat of engineering. Riding it feels... Oh. Well, if you ever do, I've got plenty in stock. They take me a good while to make, but I'm... I brew you up. to Yevany's Art Gallery and Supply. And before you ask, no, I'm not Yevany. And if you came to request a commission, unfortunately we can't help with that either. Yevany is totally backed up at the moment, but we do have painting supplies in stock. Yes, but we're full as I said. Normally folks just need to write down what they want and Yevany will paint it for them. She's been painting her whole life and doing commissions for at least 40 years. We can't keep up with commissions like we used to, and demand is only growing. Oh, are you a painter? We've been looking for someone to help with the workload, but so far no one's been up to Yevany's standards. 
Do you have a portfolio I can look at? Well, come on back when you have a portfolio to show. We'd love to take a look at your work. Yevany likes to see at least three pieces. Anything I can help with? Need some supplies? Spices, like pepper, or whatever this is. Oh yeah? She's pretty great, isn't she? We met at the bread stand where she works. I really like bread, so I'm over there a lot. Yeah? That's pretty cool, I guess. You like to travel? I have to travel to Lindo every week to get supplies. It's fine over there, but I wish I didn't have to go all the time. It's kind of like a creepy ghost- Yeah! I mean, me and Evelina have been hanging out a lot. She's really great. Like the other day she made me a special loaf of bread in the shape of a flower. She's just- There's this cool hot spring on the Salt Spring Coast. I used to go there when I was a kid. It's all the way at the end of the beach, and no one really knows about it. It's a perfect place for picnics. Yeah. Maybe I'll take a trip out there soon. Well, I should probably get back to protect. Yeah, I bought one. I knew it was a toxic tuber. It was pretty obvious. I already used it in a ritual, so you can't buy it back. There are a group of people who like drinking this special tea because it makes you have better dreams. They hang out in the cistern under the city. But sometimes they have meetings on the Salt Spring Coast Beach. My brother loves drinking the tea, but it's so boring. I mean, it just makes you dream. Yours- I think they're kind of like the Roots. They love dream teas too, but they believe only their gods should be able to drink them. Welcome, friend. Would you like a guaranteed long... My elixir will fortify you with the strength and vigor. Imagine a longer life for you and your loved ones, sourced from hot springs around the island. This water... Some of my longtime customers are practically living history books. They've been drinking the elixir for years. Of course, just look at all these happy people. They love it, and it works perfectly for them. Each of my custom water is sourced from the life-giving springs of East Jade. Ah, you've returned! You will... Interested in a book?
What's the password? And get lost. The Shadian Post. Pick it up here. Free copies. Accepting donations. anything out? Oh god, did she tell you what she thinks of me? Really? <laughs> I'm dying. Tell me what she said. Where is her favorite place? Really? Wow. I'd heard about it, but I didn't think it was real. That sounds like the perfect magical place. Okay, I'm going to start making plans. Thank you so much. To Nava! You still have the pastries, right? Oh, this is gonna be... Okay, my brother's sitting at the table right outside the bakery. I'll go over to him first, then you follow behind. Remember, make him think you're a normal delivery person. Can I help you? Good. I've been expecting a delivery. Give it here. Hmm. It looks like someone's rifled Trudy's. They're a little crushed, too. A little crushing isn't gonna ruin the tangy, sublime, gorgeous taste of raspberries. Ugh. What? What's happening to me? This is... This is the most revolting, sickening... Grape! My tongue! It'll never be the same! 
What despicable baker would make an error so unforgivable? Ugh. Neo! This my brother's idea of a prank? Poisoning a person's taste buds with the most repulsive flavor ever invented! That's just... it's... hilarious! I can't believe you actually got me, and Neo's always trying to do these ridiculous pranks. Usually I can see him from a mile away. You're messing around with great pastries? That's some risky business. You should be proud. I'm not easily pranked. That was perfect. I couldn't picture it going any better. He totally thought you were a delivery person. <laughs> this one will go down in family history. You should look into doing this for a living. I don't have much to give you, but seeing my brother eat a great pastry was just priceless. Need a lift? Alright then. <laughs> 